today we're checking out another mini PC from B-Link, this time the Mini S12. I wanna thank B-Link for sending this over to review on the channel. I'll leave a link down below with current pricing and more information. This is what they're calling a 12th generation low power office mini PC. Some of the specs for this one, it's got eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, Intel Alder Lake N95 processor, Bluetooth 4.2, also can be expanded up to two terabytes with a PCIe. Inside the box, you've got a user manual, pretty standard power adapter, two HDMI cables are included. Also comes with a mount if you wanna put this on the back of a monitor, or if you just wanna mount this to your desk or wall. Okay, this is definitely a little lighter than I expected. Just to give you a size comparison, here it is against what I would consider the typical size for B-Link mini PCs. You'll see it's not quite as thick, not quite as deep, and then not quite as wide either. So this is more like a mini mini PC. As far as the case itself, feels like it's all plastic on this one. Nice texture there on the top. Here along the front, you've got two USB ports, headphone jack, and power. Then your connections on the back, you've got two USB ports, ethernet, two HDMI ports, and where you plug in the power. You'll notice here on the inside, you can add your extra hard drive there. And then as you can see, it's just got one single slot for the memory. There's your M.2, 256 gigabytes of storage. So after getting everything hooked up, I noticed when watching 4K YouTube videos, it averaged about 35 dropped frames, which I guess isn't too bad considering the specs. And it definitely played fairly smooth for the most part. I also tried to edit some 4K video footage just to see if it could do it. And while technically it did, it struggled a little bit more than I would like to see, you'd probably be better off just editing 1080p resolution, especially if you upgrade the memory from eight gigabytes up to 16. Definitely not gonna win any performance awards or records as you can see here. In fact, performance on this mini PC is definitely gonna be what I would call entry level. Sort of the same thing when running Cinemark 3D. It's pretty low compared to other gaming PCs that I've tested, but just keep in mind, this is not considered a gaming PC. So not really a huge surprise there. I also tried to play Rocket League on here. And while yes, technically it let me play that at about 13 or 14 frames per second at 1080p resolution. So yeah, I would definitely not recommend this for gaming especially if you're gonna try to play Rocket League or when I tested Forza Horizon 5 it did say that the graphics card was not compatible I also noticed the case on here did seem to get a little warm on top, but nothing that seems too serious. So it sort of got me thinking, who is this mini PC for? And in my opinion, it's more for someone who just wants a PC that's not gonna take up hardly any space. Maybe you're just gonna be doing more of the basic things like Word or Excel. It's also gonna be good if you just wanna use this as a media device to watch Netflix, YouTube videos, those types of things. Again, this is more of a starter PC entry level when it comes to performance and it also might be for those that were looking at a Chromebook or Chromebox but they prefer Windows 11 over Chrome OS. So yeah maybe I'm not the target market for this PC but as long as it has what you're looking for then this could be a good option. So if you've made it this far into the video you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.